Okay, so this is Chris reading a bedtime story for all of you out there. Enjoy. So today we'll be reading Spank the Monkey Lends a Hand. This book was written for Dustin. If you find yourself alone with much to think about, Call Spank the Monkey. He'll come by and help you work things out. Just the other day, while walking on the farm, Spank the Monkey stopped to look in Farmer Johnson's barn. The air in there was warm. It smelled of salt and sweat and lotion. Way back in the corner was a constant, steady motion. The farmer's arm was moving fast. His hands, they looked so worn. Spank the Monkey stepped right up and helped him shuck his corn. Oh my goodness. Spanks likes to visit Grandpa, who loves his magazines. He has the first one and the last and all the in-betweens. He flips right through the articles until his fingers blister. <laughs> what he really likes to do is look at all the pictures. Oh, oh my gosh. When Grandpa gets excited and messes up an issue, <coughs> Spank is there to save the day with a box of tissue. Vinny has a job making sauce for pizza pies. As he cooks, he likes to watch the waitresses go by. Vinny grabs his hard salami and he hides it from the boss. Then he goes into the pantry to make some secret sauce. Vinny makes a lot of sauce. He whips it up by hand. Spank has seen the waitress. He can understand. Have mercy, have mercy, have mercy. Spank the monkey takes his car to the Quip Lube service station. He's got a sharp car, by the way. They let him fill his jar up there when he's out of lubrication. From underneath a car oh, on oh, Jack. There's the, there's the book. Okay, came some grunting and a moan. That dirty old mechanic, Max, was down there all alone. Max's hands were greasy. His eyes were squinted shut. Spank was there to lube his tool and help him bust that nut. <coughs> You may have heard it said that Spank only helps the guys. Please don't cloud your head with all those silly lies. Spank the monkey actually likes girls more than boys. Every girl that he knows has a nice stand full of toys. me. Annie plays the flute all day in the marching band. She knows that when the day is done, Spank will lend a hand. When Annie goes to bed at night, her face is all aglow because Spank the Monkey's gonna have a finger puppet show. As the satin curtain drops, she thinks, I'm a lucky girl. Spanking, Spank. Spanking, that's right, Spanking. Spank opens with her favorite scene, polishing the pearl. Annie dims the lights and makes sure the door is locked. Why? I wonder. Then Spank the Monkey oils her flute as he puts it in her box. Oh. Then. Thank you, Chris. Chris, thank you. 